This video talks about 3D monster maze. Even though I could find evidence of older horror games, this was the only well-documented one. So technically it's not the first horror game, but it's the first real well-documented documented horror game because there isn't much to talk about with other ones. I just know its name and who made it. Now, on to the video. Horror games, you probably think of Resident Evil or Phasmophobia, absolutely terrifying games. But what if we go back to a simpler era where horror games were unheard of? Today we are exploring that simpler era with 3D monster maze. I am Mr. Big Blocks, head of the Tiger Tiger YouTube channel, and you're watching Gaming Unknown. <laughs> Chapter 1, Plot. So what is the plot of this mysterious game? Well, it's very simple. A clown takes you to a weird carnival ride with a T-Rex in it where the mists of time. Sorry, that sounds like the name of a weird 70s song about society. Pass over you, and you wake up in a maze. Chapter 2, Gameplay. This game is in first person. In it, a giant creepy boogeyman, nightmare paralysis, demon dinosaur, T-Rex, what is this script, chases after you. Your only goal is to escape. Weird creepy text will pop up while you are exploring, saying things like, He is hunting you and he has seen you. If you don't escape, you will get eaten. Then text comes up awarding you points and say, you were sentenced to roam the maze for forever. You can escape through a portal and a ward text will pop up. This time it doesn't say anything that is too oddly existential and creepy. Chapter three, background. This game was created by a British programmer named Malcolm Evans. Not the lawyer, not the cartoonist, but the computer programmer. The game was produced for the ZX Spectrum. The ZX Spectrum was a little boy 8-bit computer that could barely run anything. It had literally 128 kilobytes of storage max. If you take a video of yourself saying ZX Spectrum, that takes like a, like a megabyte, which is nearly 10 times more than 128 kilobytes. Malcolm Evans is still alive, but I don't think he does much. I couldn't find anything recent on him, so I think he's just living a private life nowadays. Chapter 4, Gameplay Footage. Here's a collection of gameplay footage from the game. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Subscribe to become a gamer boy slash girl slash other today. Till next time, people. I still can't do intros. I've been doing this for like a year and a half.